All right, y'all, I'm back with something. You know, ran that last little tank out. It was about a quarter tank left, you know, before um, that video ended. So I ran that out, you know, with that last quarter tank. Started hearing, like, a little metal noise and stuff. So um, ran it out. Should have just stopped, but I ran it out and everything. And um, pulled it in, and this is what happened. So you see how far that, that just came out? That's my clutch shoes right here. All this gap. So that's the that's the clutch bearing right here. Right there, that's the clutch bearing. That's that's my clutch my clutch screw right here. So the story behind that is before I took this out to run, I just went over everything and I noticed that that same clutch bell was a little bit you know had a little bit too much play for my liking so i went ahead and put a 0.2 and a 0.1 millimeter uh shim in there clutch bell shim you know so for a total 0.3 millimeters or something and um it felt right so you know when you screw it down and you check it like that normally you don't tighten it all the way you know you just screw it to just where it's snug, you know, and then you check the play, and then, you know, you unscrew it if you got to do more, or then you, if it's right, you know, that's when you snug it down and everything. Well, when I seen it was right, I went ahead and, you know, lit up a cigarette. And that damn Newport, man, Newport got me, man. But anyways, lit the cigarette up, smoked the cigarette, not paying attention, Finished the cigarette. I just put the motor right back in the car and then went and ran like y'all seen it. And I never once thought, oh man, I didn't snug that end of that screw. I never thought about I didn't snug the screw up after I smoked that cigarette. And so what happened was this wasn't tight, you know, the way it should be. And it started backing out, you know, throughout that run. And then finally, you know, at the end of the run, you know, this is what we got. Whereas though, basically I started hearing it towards that end and then ran that last little bit and pulled it over and immediately I could see this was moving, you know, as I was putting the uh, flywheel bottom dead center. When I did that, I seen the clutch bell move back and forth. So I said, oh man, then I noticed that that screw was just too far out. So I was like, wow. So just to let y'all know, man, this, this type of stuff happens when you get distracted or you're not paying attention or whatever, you know. Make sure, you know, everybody, y'all run y'all, before y'all run y'all stuff, just give it a once over, you know, check everything out, you know, just give it a once over, make sure everything's tightened up to where it's supposed to be tightened up, make sure everything, you know, is loose where it's supposed to be loose, like your suspension and stuff, not overly loose, but just make sure your arms and stuff not worn out, but they fall under their own weight. You know, make sure your shocks, you know, not leaking and stuff. Just different little things like that, you know. And uh, you'll have a good day. Luckily, this didn't ruin my whole day and stuff. And, you know, I pulled it off, you know, ended running before it actually, you know, blew up or the burns, you know, exploded or whatever. And it's a good thing I didn't run my engine, you know, overly lean, whereas though, you know, it would have been getting real hot and then making the burns expand more from taking all that heat, you know, and then that would have seized it up, getting slammed by the uh, clutch bell like that. And then they, you know, uh, expanding because they overheating and stuff. That would have ruined everything. But I just wanted y'all to take a look at that and everything. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that, you know, and I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. And before I leave, you know, um, I want to shout out to uh, Cowie Man. Y'all go check him out. K-A-W-I Man. Um, great videos over there, you know, running everything from vintage stuff to modern stuff. You know, he basically got it all, you know. I was chatting with him and stuff a couple of times and everything. You know, we both like the motorcycles and dirt bikes and stuff, too. But he got a whole lot of good running videos and everything. So y'all want to see good running videos of, you know, um, older vehicles like 
uh, that jamming uh, CRT Truggy. You know, he got one of them. He got some of the uh, those um, them Adam Drake uh, two wheel drive gas trucks. He got some of them. He, oh boy, got a couple things, man. So shout out to you, Cowie, man. Um, shout out to Nitro Nation and stuff, you know. That engine was looking real good as far as for how many gallons you had on it and stuff. And, you know, being a stock engine and everything, RTR engine, whatever the case may be, just goes to show, you know, if you do the right things with your engine and stuff, you know, keep it tuned fairly decent all, all the time, man. You know, you can have a good, a good engine last, you know, fairly long time. So shout out to Nitro Nation. Um, who else, man? I know I'm forgetting somebody. Um, shout out to Crucial RC. I was watching this video earlier and stuff, you know, and he got that um, that fifth scale looking good with that rap. So shout out to you, Crucial. Um, shout out to Rajay111. You know, check this video out. Shout out to Woogie Nitro too. Um, you know, congrats on, on the, you know, the career change and everything. Hope everything goes well for you and stuff, man. You know, you know you've been a good asset to the hobby and stuff. You know, you show us everything from the good to the bad to the ugly to the pretty, you know. So shout out to you, Woogie, man, and all your new ventures in life and everything and stuff, you know. I know you'll be back with us with this Nitro and stuff in a little bit. So we'll be here when you get back, you know. Um... Shout out to Family Affair. Um, shout out to, um, I think it's Off-Road RC Racing, I believe. Um, I may be saying it wrong, but um, he got a Nitro channel. Um, he down there in Texas, I believe. Um, I hope I'm not saying, I hope I'm not quoting him wrong or saying he in the wrong state. I think he down there in Texas. Um, somewhere down there by Family Night, uh, Family Affair, and um, uh, uh, oh man, he was just right on tip of my tongue too. Um, that ain't sound too right, but pause on that. Jeez, uh, Louise, man, that's a whole lot of y'all with some good videos and stuff, man. You know, shout out to uh, Corey over there, EKJ24000. Um, that JQ looking good, you know. And I like that that situation that you did when, when you put the uh, the res, the res crank inside that Pico motor and everything. So depending on how, how much different the timing is on that crank from versus the uh, Pico crank, your power band is going to move either up or down, and it may just have more power overall. You never know. Um, but I'm I'm keen, you know what I'm saying, to hear, hear back from you on that one and stuff, you know, when you get that all situated and everything. Um, let me see. Uh, man, I, know I'm, I know I'm forgetting some people, man. But shout out to everybody who watches my videos, man. Shout out to all y'all, man, you know. I'm going to try, try just, when I shoot these videos, man, I'm trying to acknowledge different people who subscribe to me, different people who've asked me questions and stuff, you know, different people who just chatted with me. Um, shout out to uh, Nitro Freak, you know, he's building up that 4.0 and everything, getting that, you know, buttoned up, ready for this springtime and stuff, you know, he came across a couple, couple good deals and stuff. And, um, and that works motor, Nitro Freak, that works motor, man, you get one of them, you're going to really like it, you know. Um, I'm not going to say that they're hard to break in, but some of them are really tight. Um, like I have this, uh, that works B3. Um, that engine is really tight. Um, but that's the uh, B5, you know part number and everything it's in that box um that engine got a whole lot of lot of mileage on it so shout out to you nitro freak i'm gonna go ahead and end this video and stuff and um everybody have a good happy holiday and stuff you know president's day you know get your brap on if you got to if you can if not you know watch the brap videos all right y'all holler at you on the next one